All right, everybody, I want to finish up with something pretty funny I found on social media. This is what I'm liking. Just recently, a New York woman was on a flight to Florida when she noticed a certain unpleasant scent wafting in the air. <laughs> she wanted to figure out where it was coming from, so she put a message on her phone and airdropped it for anyone on the plane to see. <laughs> Turns out, most everyone on board was asking the same question. We have her on the line right now watching on NBC4 in New York. What's up, Devin? <laughs> Hi, Kelly. You are hilarious, so tell us more about what happened. Well, okay, so as soon as I boarded the plane and I got to my seat, it, the dreaded smell of farts filled the air, the, just the worst. So I, I typed out a note on my phone just saying, if you're farting, please stop. And I sent it out through AirDrop. Just anybody who had their phones unlocked could receive it. So I was just tapping away, sending it out. <laughs> and almost immediately, you could start to hear laughter erupt. I heard people giggling <laughs> in their seats. And so I just kept sending it out anonymously because my hope, Kelly, was that the culprit would receive the message. <laughs> And then soon after, my phone started vibrating and I was getting airdrops back. So people were laughing, trying to pinpoint who did it, what aisle, you know, if that's you, cut it out. Um, and now also on my flight, there were tablets behind the seats that you could play games with. So I ended up connecting with people through the airdrop of people who wanted to play games. So I ended up playing three games of Battleship, which a humble brag, I won all three of my <laughs> games. <laughs> I love it. This whole thing just turned into a tablet airdrop party. I think that is incredible. And my favorite one was Bro, it's aisle 16. <laughs> it's my favorite thing ever. So you say there's a lesson in your experience, right? Yeah, I would say have some compassion for your seat neighbors. Planes are stuffy as it is. So if you could go to the restroom before you board or just, you know, relieve yourself. But I, I too have compassion. I know, I know that there's, you know, people have IBS or whatever, but it was quite unbearable. I was pretty nauseous. Um, and I didn't even send this out to be funny. I, I genuinely sent it out to solve the problem. Um, but it turned into... <laughs> Um, a plain bonding experience. So who knew that, you know, millions of other people have related to this. <laughs> oh my God, I just can't wait for everybody to know your face and see you on planes in the future. This is incredible. Thank you so much, Devin. I am loving your post right now. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of Freaks and the go-to erasable pin of The Kelly Clarkson Show, want to celebrate those who take tough situations <laughs> and turn them around. So they are giving you $1,000. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? That's and amazing. also, congratulations on the battleship wins. That is incredible. Uh, thank you so much to all our guests this hour. Julianne Huff, Michael Carbonaro, Marquitris, and Danielle Cardis. Y'all have a great day, and if it's not, try and change it.